all doing well? One of the projects we've had on the go for the last few weeks is trying to build some lids for the pallet collar raised beds that we've got down at the plot. And the idea behind that is, is it makes it nice and easy just to lift them up, put them down, and you can have whatever you want on the top of it. Whether you've got EnviroMesh, whether you've got some of the scaffolding netting, you can even put plastic over the top of it and make it into a sort of mini poly tunnel. So I'm gonna take you through sort of step by step how I'm gonna put those together. We'll get the bits, we'll take them up to the plot, and we'll fit them to the raised bed, and you can sort of see the finished article there. So first things first, the bits and pieces I've got here. This is heat treated timber. It's 50 mils by 25 mils, or I think in, in, in maybe sort of old school terms, Imperial, that's two by one, I think. Um, I've got a mitre box that I borrowed off my dad. It's gonna help me cut the wood nice and straight. An old workbench, and I'm using some other bits and pieces I've got around here to support the wood, because I bought 4.8 meter lengths from a place called Travis Perkins. And the reason I got that sort of length is the pallet colors are 1.2 by 0 0.8. So it works out quite nice with two meter cuts and then do the 1.2 and the 0 0.8 and it gives us the four bits to sort of screw together to make the frame. So first things first, I've measured out two meters to here. I'm gonna make my first cut of two meters. The reason I'm gonna do that as opposed to cutting it in the little sections is it just makes it easier to manage with because you see when I've got it sort of cobbled together like this, it's a really cumbersome piece of wood, four body meters long to deal with. Cut it near enough and half, makes it a lot easier. So first things first, I've already got my first measurement here, say we're, we're at two meters. I'm gonna put the cut in and then we'll do the next. Back with you in just a minute. So there we have it, first cut made. This bit's two meters long. Like I said, the pallet collars are 1.2 point by 0 0.8. So if I pick up the tape measure that I've just knocked on the floor, we'll get this, uh, we'll get this next measurement done. So we come along here to 0 0.8 of a meter or 80 centimeters. Mark that up. And again, that's the second cut. I'm gonna go in there in the miter box again, just so we keep that cut nice and straight. So we try and make it as square as possible when we're putting it together. So there we have it. The front bit and the side bit are 1.2 and are 0.8. What I'll do is I'll cut the other bit that I've just propped up over there. So we've got another two bits the same as this. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how we're gonna start putting things together and doing different different cuts and different drill holes and things to, to get it put, put together there. Back with you in just a minute. So that's the four bits of timber cut. We've got two of the longer bits at 1.2 meters and two of the shorter bits at 0 0.8. What I'm gonna do next is out of each end of the longer bits, I'm gonna cut a little notch and I need to measure that up first. So to do that, I'll put the pencil behind my ear just to give myself some credibility as a, as a carpenter. So what I wanna do is I want to come in here pretty much the width of this piece of wood. So this, if you remember, is 50 mils. So if we grab the tape measure, so from the end, we're gonna come 50 mils in and we're gonna come half the way up. So we'll just measure that again. We're 50 mils, so we wanna be at 25. And I'll bring this, I'll bring this over to the camera in a second to show you what I'm what I'm sort of wittering on about. Let me bring that over so you can see it. So this end, you can see, we're gonna cut out the width of the wood and half of the width down, just to cut that notch. So when we put the frame together, it fits in there all nicely. So I'm gonna cut that out, one at that end. I'll do one at this end as well. And then I'm gonna do it on the other length of wood there as well. I'll not bore you with me <laughs> filming me cutting out those notches of wood. I'll cut it out and I'll come back to you in a few moments then to show you how it's been done. So that's the notches cut out of the wood. Again, I'll come up a little bit closer so you can see it. We've just cut the notch out there. So the theory is this bit and this bit fit in there, relatively square. It'll be better once I've got it screwed together. I'm just holding it with my hands there. So they'll go together like that on both sides. So next thing I need to do is we'll just get rid of this. And we can get, tell you what I will do. I don't know much about carpentry, but the one tip I can give you about using a wood saw like this, and I remember this from woodwork at school, is that when you're doing your cut, use the full length of the blade. 
You see loads of people doing little saws like that and it takes ages to saw that long for a purpose all the way backwards and forwards makes such a difference and it does right we'll pop it down on the ground anyway so over the plot we've got some of the mdp water pipe you get it in different sizes the size i use 32 mil and what i need to do is cut holes in the long bits to be able to attach the water pipe into it so i'm just going to come in so because it's 32 mils i'm going to come in about 20 mils from where I've cut the notch. So I'm just going to measure that. We just want to make sure that that's right in the middle of where I'm going to do this next, this next hole. X marks the spot and now that we've got that measured on there what I need to do is drill a hole 32 mil big which is quite big as you can imagine so what we're going to use is this and again I'll wander over to the camera so you can see it and this is a flat bit and that's a 32 mil flat bit it's not attached to anything fancy this is just a bog standard sort of drill driver I think this came from Argos of all places so again we're not using any specialist or fancy kit if you've not used one of these flat drill bits before, they can be a bit, a bit difficult to control. So if you're using one, make sure you've got your wood or your timber or whatever it is you're using secured quite tightly. I'm just using a, a clamp there, if it clamps in place properly, there we go. And I'm gonna hold, hold it still with my other hand. Because if, if you don't have it down tight enough, what'll happen is when the flat part of the bit hits the wood, the wood will start to spin round and, and clatter you with it. And I've learned that one from experience. So I'll drill this hole first. I'll show you what it's like when it's done. Right, that's that job done. So, let me cut that. Knock the wee sawdusty bits off. As you can see there, the fat, flat bit, put a nice 32 mil hole all the way through. So what I'll do now, is we'll gather up all these bits and pieces load them into the car i'll take them up to the plot and we'll do some film up there show you how i'm going to put it all together and the different options you've got for the stuff going over the top back with you in just a moment there so we've made it down to the plot we've got all our pieces of wood ready to go first things first is i'm going to make a sort of u shape and i'm going to attach the two side bits to the back of it and that's because these palette colors are used palette colors so they're not they're not perfectly square, so it might take a little bit of adjustment. I might have to cut a little bit off the end of it. So we'll get this bit here. You can see it's sort of taken shape there. We'll get that bit joined there. I'm just going to put a screw in either end. These screws here. And if I get one out of the box again, just to show you, we're not using anything special here. It's just a 50 mil wood screw. Got them from Screw Fix. So we'll get them put in. And I'll come back to you in two minutes and show you how we're just going to sort of finish it off there and get the final bits and pieces put together. So, it's almost there. As you can see, we've had to cut a little notch off the other end there, because these aren't exactly perfect. Last thing to do with the wood is to fit this bit here. You can see, it just slots in there, slots in there, and that's why you put those little notch off there. So I'll put two final screws in, then we'll look to get the water pipe fitted, and we'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. So that's the basic frame put together now. You can see we've got it all joined up there. A couple of things left to do, hinges need to go in the back, and the blue water pipe needs to go up on top. So I've got the water pipe here, it's cut, but this is a rounder bit, and it's in the wrench, to make the, the right size over the top. If you were going to do this, cut, the, cut this a little bit longer, again, it might need little adjustments when you come to put it all together, depending on how square things are, or how big things are. Another thing to remember with this, we've put 32 mil holes in, this is 32 mil pipe. It can be a little bit snug getting it in there sometimes. So I do have my little sort of pen knife with this that I can just carve a little bit out of it. It's a bit tight getting that in there just to create a little bit more room to, to get it in. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. It's quite flexible, this stuff. So give it a wee bend to begin with. Not too much though, because it will kink in the middle if you bend it too far. But in just a case, give it a bit of a push. Wiggle from side to side and generally it goes in. 
bend it over and this is where it all falls apart <laughs> again it's it's quite a say it's quite a quite a snug fit because of the 32 mil hole and the 32 mil pipe but there it is there's the one side in i'll do the other side i'll come back and show you how we're going to do the hinges and then that's us almost done apart from the wee bar across the top and a bit of a chat about what we're going to put over the top of it as well back in a minute so there's both sides of the pipe fitted now it was just a case of putting the hinges on again pretty simple nice and easy no these some screw fits three and about an up and up three holes i'll show you a bit close there either side top three get attached to the frame bottom three get attached to the pallet collar then that creates that nice easy motion for us to lift it there i'll go and attach those now and then we'll show you how it looks so we're almost done that's the hinges fitted at the back you can see nice and easy up and down like that one last job we have to do is to create some support braces across the top i just use old canes and i'm going to tie them on with twine at either end so i've got three of them that i'm going to fit so i'll fit them then what i'll do i'll switch you over to the handheld i'll give you a look around it and i'll show you the other two similar to these that i've made over there and show you the mistakes i've made with them and why this one this sort of design is a little bit better back with you in a jiffy right so here we are finished article apologies if there's wind noise i've switched over to the handheld and i've had to take the the microphone off or it goes a bit wonky uh, you can see across the top there we've put three canes just to support whatever sort of netting that goes over the top this one's going to have enviro mesh on it because this is going to be a carrot bed i've not put the netting on yet because all the soil in there needs a bit of work and it's just going to get in the way if we've done that at the back here you can see where we've got the hinges fitted just two one either side they were just a couple of quid from screw fix and i'll show you there it lifts up nice and easy makes getting into the bed dead easy makes maintenance easy stuff like that so i mentioned the other ones that i've done if i move down the plot here this was the first one i did you'll have to excuse the net i've not sort of cut it off and tidied it up yet but it's it's not too bad the main problem with this one was along the top here i just put two canes right down the middle as opposed to the three and you can see that you probably can't see it too well on the camera there but the if i move around here i might be able to the netting comes down at a bit of a funny angle you can see how far the hoop sticks out at the other end but the netting sort of on the inside of it so it's not a problem at the moment but it might be later on depending on what we grow so we've learned from that and i say we changed it so here was the here was mark two where you can see the three prongs across the top and again if i switch to the the side here you'll see that the netting comes down the hoops much better there and it does so right folks that's that job done for today hope you enjoyed that if you are liking what you see in the channel please give us a subscribe give us a thumbs up leave your comments below happy to answer any questions you might have about building some of those lids for the palette colors anyway watch out for another video coming soon we've got loads of jobs and things to be getting on with and we'll keep you updated with what we're doing down here on the plot right yo bye for now folks